which celebrity do you get mistaken for? Alyssa Milano from day one. When I came to LA, very quickly people would ask me for my autograph as Alyssa Milano, and I didn't know if I was actually gonna ever be famous, so I signed a couple. <laughs> Sorry, Alyssa. First favorite, like, and only real normal job that I did is I worked at Abercrombie & Fitch for eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> Why eight hours? <laughs> because, because I went at the height of, like, Party of Five being a successful show. And so there was, like, a line of people outside. <laughs> and they came through the mall. It was Glendale Galleria. And they said that I was a fire hazard. And so they fired me after eight hours. <laughs> But you can bet I used that discount before I left oh, and bought yes. like, as much stuff as I possibly could. That was yeah. a good discount, too. I don't know if I'm actually still living after that moment. <laughs> like it, was, it, it, it was sent to me, and the, the showrunner sent it to me, and it just said, girl, like that. And then the video took a minute to come up, and it well, was Adele saying, we have that video. you do, you yep. have watch it. Look at this. You have to I did this now for the TV show 911. <laughs> I watched, I've never seen it before, so I watched it from the very first season all the way up to date because it went on to Hulu, so I watched that. And um, that took up quite a big chunk of the five weeks, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean. That is wild. Amazing. I, I've never been more excited. Yeah. Truly. Yeah. And like, what a suspenseful, like, anxiety-ridden five weeks she spent watching 911. <laughs> <laughs> but we were so, the whole cast has been celebrating, we're so excited. We do have a, an, an odd but like beautiful connection and I do really like, we just have always had that. Yeah. Um, and for whatever reason, I was really blessed to just dream of Nick after he passed. And um, one dream in particular that I shared with you is that he came and he was just so, um, I don't know how to say it without crying, mm -hmm. um, but he was so proud of you and he was so touched by you for sharing his story in the book because there was a lot of it that he felt like he didn't know um, because of all that was happening for him in that moment. And so I shared that with you and, um, and your book is just, I, if you have not read that, her book, it's, it's honestly like insane. Um, it's so good and so touching and I just felt really blessed that I had the opportunity to have him come to me sometimes and, and to be able to share that with you.